So let's talk about network mergers and acquisitions. Basically, these two process is seen in any type of businesses, enterprise, service provider, any type of businesses. And basically, as a network designer, network engineer, our job is to understand the business requirements and basically come up with the technical solutions. Network mergers and acquisition, you can hear as network integration as well. And generally, business and network analysis and technical information gathering are the key steps for this. So we need to understand the business requirement. We need to analyze the network. Of course, I will show you the, how you can analyze the network, how you can gather the information, how you can collect the requirements and constraint in network design. These are important, not for only real life network design, but also for design exams like CCDE. So key points for the network mergers and acquisition is basically analyzing the existing network design, understanding the applications, maybe not each and every application, but most critical business application, you need to understand the applications and their expectations from the network. Some applications might require low latency, some applications might require really high bandwidth and we need to understand the business applications critical for this business and note them down so we will have charts we will gather the information for the critical applications and what is these applications requirement expectation from the network so basically networks have many modules many plays like local area network wide area network uh, data center internet exit we need to understand these modules, what type of physical and logical topology they have, and what is the convergence time for each module, convergence time requirement for each module, and other design goals as well. Maybe from local area uh, at the access layer, you may need to consider about first stop security, right? But in the core of the network, you may not need to think about the uh, first hop security because it will not be anyway the first hop so dynamic ARP inspection for example at the edge you need it in the local area but in the core you, do, you don't need and you need other functions so basically we need to analyze what kind of protocols technologies in each module this business have so I told you the technology I told you the protocols which they are using but technologies are the second importance the first important thing for the merger and acquisition is basically application application expectation from the network uh, maybe low latency can be provided by using different technologies right instead of having maybe uh, MPLS you might have uh, Ethernet uh, or maybe a transport network and different kind of transport networks still can provide low latency but we need to think about first the application and the requirement. Also keep in mind requirement, the analyst, the information gathering for the merger and acquisition is not different than Greenfield network. So merger and acquisition basically is done for the Brownfield network, already existing network and Greenfield network mean you don't have um, currently any network business decide to sell let's say some services 4G LTE let's say and they are coming to the network designers and or hiring network designers engineers and getting the vendor support so on and so forth and design their network this is called greenfield so you don't have existing environment and you will build it but if you have already existing ne existing network, it is brownfield and net network merger and acquisition can happen in the brownfield. And what I am saying, information gathering for the brownfield network is not different than greenfield network. So some questions, key points we are talking about for the network merger and acquisition and some questions. Where will, where will be the first point, first module for the merge network or if you are acquiring another let's say company where will be the first point that you need to think about is it local area should you start or data center or internet or how you will connect these two networks okay and also after after 
uh, information gathering. After understanding the critical applications of the two companies, you need to think about the technologies. And they have routing protocols for a network designer, network engineers, we need to know routing protocols. In each company, what type of routing they are having, internal routing and also external routing. Uh, IGP is maybe one company is using OSPF, another company is using ISAS. Now, merged network or when you acquire another company. So, will this merged network at the end of the day, will they use one protocol, common protocol like OSPF or will they use ISAS or maybe they will continue to use separate protocols, one company OSPF, another ISAS. And how you will decide basically, they have other technologies, other technologies as well. Not only routing are consideration. Uh, what about security policy? What about quality of service? Maybe today, uh, one company has quality of service in their network, another don't have, because in the another company, there was no any bandwidth problem. But in the merged company, when those two companies come together, they merge, what will happen to quality of service policy, for example? Will you deploy end-to-end -end quality of service? or maybe capacity after the merge is enough for end-to-end an -end traffic, maybe you will not deploy quality of service. What about IPv6? You are thinking about IPv4, but maybe one of the companies have IPv6 or after merged, they are considering to provide IPv6 service to their customer, right? So what will happen to IPv6? What about multicast? Maybe one company today is providing multicast, another is not, or maybe one company is doing uh, different multicast deployment than others. Let's say one company is using PIM-ASM, any source multicast, another company is using PIM source specific multicast. What will happen to the merge network? If you are trying to provide end-to-end -end multicast, what will be the deployment for the merge network? So this is another consideration. What about capacity requirement, right? Uh, Maybe, again, today, individual companies, they don't have capacity problem, but when you merge these two companies, basically, there will be some sites decommissioned, probably, right? Think about these two, two businesses, they have pop location or branch offices just next to another. So in the same city and in the same town, maybe they will just close one of them. And from that side, what will be the connection to the uh, network core? So what will be the merge network capacity, physical capacity? This is another network design consideration. What about network management? Maybe today one, of, one company is using, another company is not using, or both of them are using, but will they support end-to-end uh, -end merge network, this network management system. So what will be happening to the network management, network operation? This is another consideration. What about divesture? Will these two companies, when they merge, will they decommission some pop locations, some data centers, some branch offices, or will they just get rid of some internet connection from some locations. So these are the considerations. So overall, guys, for the network mergers and acquisition, we have a lot of things to consider. We will start first with the analyzing the existing business requirement, uh, existing each and individual company for merge network, and basically what type of applications they have. What are their applications expectation from the network? Uh, do they have voice, video, data, what kind of video? Is this uh, video requiring basically low packet loss ratio, low latency, or is maybe it is uh, just streaming video and it can be buffered? So you need to understand the applications. Then you need to have charts for each and every, at least for the business critical applications. And what will be the network path? for these applications. You need to do traffic engineering. Then when it comes down to the technology, what kind of technology today each and individual company they have and what they want to have uh, at the end of the merge. So routing, uh, 
uh, IGP, BGP, Interior Gateway Protocol and Exterior Gateway Protocol, BGP. Uh, multicast, Cold of Service, Security, IPv6. All of these technologies, they may have or maybe they don't have or maybe just one of them have, but what will happen to the merge network? You cannot always decide as a technical engineer all of this uh, requirement, all of this technology problem, let's say. Uh, will they have multicast? Will they have basically have the same routing protocol for the merge network or not? You need to talk about uh, at least some technical manager, okay, this level of guys, and you need to explain them pros and cons. But knowing these pros and cons of each and every technology is the topic of another lessons when we come to routing when we come to multicast quality of service security we will discuss having different options but there will be always pros and cons and network design is all about drawbacks but understanding those drawbacks and understanding pros and cons and for the given business requirement what is the most optimal solution not best practice always but at least most optimal solution because there will be lots of business requirement our job as a network designer understanding this business requirement and provide by using different tools different technology provide most optimal design for the companies